Hello and welcome. I am Suntai Dippin' Chew Guy, and this is quite obviously an entry onto the Soda Pop playlist. So we will be taking a look at this guy. I chose this because I was surprised to see it. It was in a local shop right here, and it was under. Uh, it was about a dollar twenty-five. I was surprised to see it because I'd never seen this before in the shop, right? And being a chain store, they usually are pretty consistent with what they carry. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know what? I can't even remember what champagne cola is. And I gave it some more thought later on after I bought it. And that's because I've only had a champagne cola once in my life. And it was probably in the early 90s. So no, I have absolutely no idea what's in this bottle. It does give me pause though whenever you buy a pop. And it is the color of malt liquor. Just saying. So it's a clear 12 ounce bottle. The entirety of the bottle is one serving. All right, Jamaican soft drink, cola champagne. Now, people are going, huh, this is weird. They spell cola with a K. Actually, Coke a cola and then in turn, Pepsi Cola put a C there. Actually, cola, as in cola nut does start with a K. So they're actually the ones that are right. Coca-Cola did it because obviously Coca and Cola, let's make the two first letters match. And then Pepsi-Cola, for whatever reason, decided to run with it. So it's 12 fluid ounces, as I said. They spell soft, soft without a T. DG Genuine. It's a little bit odd. I did not look this up online. I don't know what the DG stands for. Because when you get to the product information, there's nothing that starts with a D or a G. So, don't know what that's about. It's just one sort of papery sticker going all the way around. It is a clear bottle, obviously. They got the DG again on the top there. They got the cool cat. And on the back, nutrition information, keeping in mind that one serving is one full bottle. It is 180 calories. There's zero fat, zero cholesterol, 25 milligrams of sodium, which is 1% of your daily intake, 44 grams of carbs, 16% of your daily intake, but all 44 of those grams are added sugar. Added sugar-wise, 44 grams is 88% of your daily intake. Protein is zero. And then, real small there that you're never going to be able to read, is the manufacturer information. So, it's distributed by Reggae Imports LTD of Brooklyn, New York. It's distributed under the authority of PC Jamaica LTD of Kingston, Jamaica. So we have a product that is being bottled and possibly made to, they, they vary on definitions there, uh, company to company in Brooklyn. But it is under authority and licensed through a company that's actually in Kingston, Jamaica. So with licensing on something like this, you can't stray from the... Um, recipe basically so the product is going to be true to its jamaican form they're just avoiding the hefty shipping costs of bottling it in jamaica and setting it up here so i'm going to open it up twist off cap bubbles rising You know what? It's weird. I have no idea what to expect here, but for whatever reason, I expected that smell. Don't know why. No idea. I am going to get a glass out of the uh, mini cooler here. And we will see, I suppose. 
So, smell-wise, it is sort of, sort of a, uh, not so much a cola smell. It, 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 it's something fruit, like mixed fruit. You're not quite sure what, though. It's not saying citrus. It's not saying berry. It's, it, it smells good. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, coming out, <laughs> it looks like. It looks like, I guess it, it, I could be kind and say it looks like Budweiser, but yeah. Yeah, it's sort of a fruity smell. There seems to be a good bit of carbonation, but it's not like making much noise, so that's good. Cheers. There's a lot of carbonation, though, when it hits the tongue. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. How I'm going to describe it is why I'm making the faces that I'm making because I have no idea. Um, okay, so it's not going to come off as cola anything to someone that's drinking it. It's light. It is refreshing. Uh, I'll give it that. Although... In my work situations, this has got way too much sugar in it for me drinking it outside in a work situation. It's crisp. Carbonation isn't overdone. It's calming down now. Um, I'm expecting it to be a little bit stronger out of the bottle. It's very sweet and it is a fruit essence but it's no particular fruit and you can't even categorize the mixture of fruit it's not like mixed berry or wild berry or citrus it like it, it's not a generalization either i'm thinking I'm wondering if it's fruit that we are not daily exposed to here in, in products, that is. Like, I know they're not going to have it listed on here because it's artificial and natural flavors and they're going to give some umbrella term. Natural and artificial flavors. All right. Um... It could be something like tropical, like uh, like maybe pineapple involved. There's probably some aspect of cola nut incorporated, but I mean, anybody that is a daily consumer of an American cola is not going to recognize cola in this. Don't, don't even look at it that way. It's light, it's good. I could see this fitting in very well in Jamaica. Um, how to describe it though, it, eh, I'm a bit of a loss. Let, let, let's go. Okay, the carbonation is present, but it's not overblown. It's actually when airing in a glass down towards how I like it. All right, it's very sweet. It's light and crisp. There's not a lot of aftertaste, which is ne not necessarily, yeah, that, that's actually usually in my book, a good thing. Um, it's very clean, if that makes any sense. Smells good. Again, though, it's nondescript or you Americans, Canadians will not be able to describe uh, the fruit smell and or flavor. I'm having a, uh, I'm definitely thinking though, it's not going to, like, in America, you know, we have citrus stuff, and we have berry stuff, there's usually cherry stuff, um, there's usually some sort of, like, kiwi, strawberry, tropical stuff going on, this is none of those things, 
this is most likely possibly some pineapple, possibly mango, stuff like that. Stuff that we don't, you know, um, necessarily see all the time. Now, I'm not saying you can't get a pineapple in the United States. Obviously, you can't. But, you know, we're not a country that works it into all aspects. You know, it's not like apples. You know what I mean? So, as far as what I think, I think it's good. I think it's good. I mean, I think I'll probably get it again. I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll look for other champagne colas uh, to see what the differences are. But it's definitely a, like the product itself, a format that I, 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 I wouldn't mind doing again. Let me put it that way. Uh, as I said, sugar-wise, a little bit too high for me uh, during work season. But it is refreshing. Like if you weren't actually doing like labor and you were just at the beach or something like that, uh, this, this would probably be really good. Really good. In fact, I prefer this over a cola. All right. So it, it, it's it's good. The the whole thing is good. The the review is positive on this. It's just I'm having a hard time explaining this to exactly what it is. Um, but do keep in mind, cola does not translate into our definition of cola. Okay. That this is not even close. But I think it's worth a try. And if you can find it at $1.25 like I did, I think it's worth the price. Um, so this has been the review of Jamaican Cola Champagne from DG, which isn't the initials of the company that makes it, but I'm not reading that all again. So we're just calling it DG because that's what the bottle says. And the cap. I am the student tie dip and shoe guy. We have a busy week here. There will be a nasal snuff, European nasal snuff review tomorrow night. Iron Throne. Uh, on Wednesday night, there will be a small batch beef jerky. And then I will be out in the other room sometime Thursday or Friday. Not quite sure because I'm sort of doing that by weather. Um, with an overview of my adult issue nerf nerf guns anyway i do hope you all are well thank you for watching do take care of yourselves and as always god bless